All right. Man, what are we here for today? Have you heard this, dude? This is my movie trailer voice. This is the Motor Bros Minute. Thank God you don't work for the movie. (laughs) (laughs) That's not the way to talk to me. So, um, anyway, if you don't know who this is, this is Built Moto. He's a great Motor Bros member. Comes in, hangs out, eats all my candy, and then leaves. Yep. So, if you want somebody like that in your <laughs> shop, make sure you contact him. But, hey, go check out his channel. The cool thing is, is he's got an MT-09. He's done a lot of aftermarket stuff with, and we got to talk about that today because I think he's a little bit upset about the color coming out this year. So, let's... Oh, the 2022s. <laughs> Yamaha just took the oh, colors right man. off of my bike and put them on the brand new ones. I love it, man. So uh, what you guys don't know is he, he came over here and he's like, oh, I've got to have these colors. I like the way it looks. I want something different. And uh, how much did it cost you to get that done? Uh, about 600 bucks. To okay. Get the wheels painted, <laughs> I mean, them. that's not horrible. That's, I mean, it's not a bad deal. But the, <laughs> the funny thing is, is, like, it's so unique. Guess what? For 2022, it's not unique anymore. Every one of them look the same now. <laughs> That's funny. Everybody, uh, I mean, it's like Yamaha strict saw his picture um, from his YouTube channel and was like, we're doing that. We're going to yeah. make that our production motorcycle. At least I have the tank where it's split halfway down the middle. Yeah, that's true. He did did get the tank wrap. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out his channel. We'll pop it up on the screen there so you can take a look. Uh, what are we t- We're talking about the MT-10 today. So they oh, released yeah. the new one. And we're going to see what we got going on there. So one thing, I'm going to jump straight into it. The one thing that I think is weird, and I'm not sure how it's going to work out, is that, that airbox thing. The three, the, it's like the tunnel system. Three tunnel systems that sync together. But the main thing is well, it's those... Well, got three different intake runners right. for, the, for the main airbox. Right, right. But also they did the bigger intakes on the sides of the tank, which is huge... Yeah, it but they, really they did good. the things that, you know, you're talking about the things on top of the tank that gives the air, the, the sound, right? No, I'm talking about the things, the things on the side of the tank that, that scoop in the air. Okay, the yeah, engine. yeah, yeah. I'm talking but about, them they made... The bigger ones on it now, yeah, they yeah. have those... They made like, a, it's, supposed, it's supposed to improve the rider's, um, like, experience. Like, the, the sound comes up. Yeah. So what they said is, they said that uh, at lower RPMs, you can hear the exhaust. Then when it gets up there... Um, the sound comes through those scoops and gives you like a rider's experience. So, I, I mean, that's was the other way around. I thought it was intake on low RPMs and exhaust up top. No, no, it oh. was exhaust low. You know, don't listen to this guy. See what I'm talking about? Don't listen to him. Oh, aftermarket exhaust. <laughs> I can't hear anything anyway. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but it, so it's supposed to Im- improve, I guess, with like sound and stuff. But it's, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I'm interested in that because I want to see, and it'd be nice if we could have one around here. Somebody has it or. Might have to get one. I was gonna say, let's let's get this guy to upgrade because his color is no one. longer, you know, it's no longer special. Yeah, so. I'm gonna get that one and repaint it back to the old, the old one with the orange. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I do. Uh, the other thing is, I do like the the way they did the rims. So they got the the single yeah. color and then the line across. I mean, I like that a lot. So with the spin for, the spin forged. Oh yeah, we were talking about that. So they have the spin for, the spin forged rims now. The aluminum spin forged rims the supposed to be lightweight and super strong. So I'm 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 I mean I'm always interested in the lightweight. You know, it's a lot cheaper than getting some carbon wheels. I mean that's true, <laughs> but it's not as light and it's not as cool looking. Hey, I don't know. I haven't compared my wheels to a set of the BSTs yet. I mean, I, uh, listen, we did do tie change on that thing, and uh, I mean they're light, but the, um, you know I deal with carbon rims and they're not, they're not as carbon rim light. But well, yeah, but you deal with carbon rims on a Grom. Remember, no, we're, we're God, talking, I did an H two the other day. We're talking you, a big wheel, God, not, a, know, not a little uh, go kart wheel. God, you're worthless. <laughs> <laughs> that go kart will run circles around you, boss. <laughs> um, CP four. Oh. Uh, yeah. So the other thing is, is I know the the uh, what is it the what is titanium? What was we were talking uh, about it? The the arms. Yeah, the piston rods. Yeah, the piston rods. Yeah, titanium on the R one. Yeah, steel and there's steel on, the on MT, this. Yeah. yeah, so the the steel is. Um, uh, what is it? Low end, it gives more torque, right? It's heavier, so yeah, with so the, more uh, torque. The That's rotating inertia of the engine, it offers more yeah, torque. Yeah, more torque. And then, the, of course, the the uh, R1, if you guys are interested in that bike as well, it has the titanium, so it revs up faster. Obviously, lightweight oh, yeah. revs up faster. A so. lot faster than the MT bikes. Yeah. I mean, you know, the the MTs are a good one. So, um, MT is a, it's a street bike. It's not a it's Yeah, not it's a not a race bike. bike. You're not you, trying you, to get out of yeah, the corner you need to quickly. Be, yeah, you, you need to be like... 
your expect expectations need to be where they're at. And uh, the other funny thing is we were talking about the R7 stuff and he's like, yeah, I just, I just, I, th I expected the R6 stuff. And I was like, I didn't expect the R6. It's two cylinders. So you can't get R6 stuff out of two cylinders. It just is what it is. But it's a bigger motor though. I mean, I know some, some people are disappointed in the R7. I, I knew what it was going to be, you know, and it is what it is. So, but it is enjoyable. Not for me. Um, <laughs> what about, uh, with no power. <laughs> so I know it has the, the, it has the TFT. So the same oh, as the yeah. R1, the yeah, display. And then it comes with those eight rider modes, which is uh, anti-wheelie and, uh, well, it's not called anti-wheelie, but it's called uh, wheelie, uh, control, wheelie control, control, traction control, sensitive. yeah, lean control, that stuff. Yeah. So it's the, got the six axis. I am you that the R1 comes Yeah. With. So there we go. The six axis. So obviously they're, uh, you know, in order to save costs and, and, you know, it's already proven with the R1, they go and take stuff off those motorcycles, put them on this one and just make it worthwhile um, to get that motorcycle on the street. So yeah. And that six axis is, it's, it's been tried and true. No, I it's mean, uh, yeah. It's, it's just like the CP4 tried and true. We know what the engine's about. Yeah. It's got the, uh, cross plane and obviously that's where you get the sound from. So it sounds amazing. The other thing that I'm super happy about, which I, I was talking to you about on the R7 and it's the same thing on this is they brought the Brembo master cylinder. So I know it's a oh. production master cylinder, but it's still better than the Nissan. And then the other thing is, is looks a um, lot better than the Nissan. No, of course. Oh, I mean, dude, Brembo. <laughs> you know, and it's it's for we're going off what street people want. So obviously, if you were a racer, and you're not going to race this bike, but if you if you had to change it out, you'd change it to like the um, the RCS19 or something like that. But it, it's just it's awesome because um, I was unhappy when after the R6 they got rid of that, just like with the the you know the 2017 R6 and up it changed to the Nissan. Mm -hmm. Just why? Why? It's anyway. Cheap. No, I oh, know. It keeps, God, your, it's it keeps money. your cost down. I oh, no, Dang it. <laughs> anyway, it's back now, so I'm super happy. It's on the R7, and obviously it's on the MT-10, so pr pretty cool about that. Another thing that's really cool about it having the, the same CP4 or a really similar CP4 to the R1 is the exhaust on it. Yeah, so uh, they said something about uh, it's a it's not a redesign, but they they a lot of titanium. It's a full and, titanium system. Yeah, uh, like the new downpipes and uh, I forgot it, like the the silencer, obviously, which yeah. is the muffler, what they call it. Um, that's it's like redesigned this thing, thing but uh, from what we saw in the pictures, it looked exactly the same. It looks just like the R ones. Yeah, the so you might be able to just trade the R ones exhaust out and put it on there. So yeah. I think that I mean cool. I like it. It's titanium. Cool. It would be cool if they just made a titanium exhaust that was Yamaha. That would be freaking dope. <laughs> that would be dope. But obviously, they got to they got to meet all the emission stuff now in Europe, and then of course it's a the, Euro Five bike. Yeah, the so, Euro I mean, Five. Yeah. So if you it don't know, choked down a lot. <laughs> yeah. So you know, imagine getting one of these things opened up with you know unlocking the ECU and doing the fuel management. Dude, you're gonna, it's gonna rock. So it would be not. That's what I'm saying. It would be nice to get one here. We can see what it does, and then yeah, just you know, make a make a couple videos. Be like, hey, I uh, dude, I'm so interested in the damn the sound coming from those those air those, ducts. Yeah, those interior the intake acoustics. That's interesting to me. Yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, I know it's 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 supposed to improve. So what I was oh, we were talking about this earlier is like why like I does it is it like a an artificial thing? You know, because they they say that the exhaust is low. And then this takes over. So I, I, I don't know. It's weird. I, 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 I want to see it. So I can't For wait to me, see it. For me, working in the car industry, the, the artificial sound is coming from a speaker. With this being the actual intake, I can't see it being an artificial sound. Okay. I think it's just I mean, one of those immersive that's, sounds. That that's a damn good point right there because, you know, that sound has to come from somewhere. It's not coming yeah. from like an, you know, it's, it's not, not coming speaker. from a speaker or anything. Yeah. It's coming from the motor, but. You know, and obviously they, they've already, obviously there's people that have already ridden it. So maybe they gave their feedback and anyway, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in that. So I'm happy about, um, obviously the Brimbo brakes and stuff like that. And then of course, the other thing that's really cool is they bring in the SP. So we oh, finally get finally the SP to America, SP. you know, <laughs> it's about time. I'm surprised, but you know, it is what it is. And they, they went with the same colors as the R1. They did like a silver tank and then that like, that like delicious blue, the Yamaha blue. It's the same thing as the the MT09 SP. It's the yes the R1M. Yeah, the R1M. Yeah, but it's got the polished swing arm as well. Oh, That's I didn't. Big they did. I didn't know that that they had the polished swing arm. Huh. Yeah, they got the polished swing arm on the MT09 uh, SP like and the that. MT10 SP. I like it. I mean, obviously that's that's their flagship. 
So the flagship, obviously, they need to do the most out of it. And then keeping it in line with things makes it a little bit easier for everybody to um, understand which way Yamaha is heading, which that color is what it is right now. So it's kind of cool. I like that. Um, SP, a couple other things that uh, that it comes with. I know, uh, I know the color change, uh, braided lines. Oh, braided. Does come with braided lines. So obviously, braided you know. Brake lines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, braided brake lines. I figured everybody knows what braided lines is. <laughs> God, this guy coming cars over here, you know? I just want to make sure it's clear. Okay, I like it. Um, but yeah, so braided lines, obviously that's a massive help. The line doesn't expand if you guys don't know why you would need braided lines. It keeps it to where everything's in. It uh, doesn't expand, so it's like boop. But yeah, it stays when you're like, on track, if you're, yeah, if the you're heat. using the brakes Heat hard, is always a problem. Last thing you want is uh, brake fluid to start boiling. And once it starts boiling, it expands. In a rubber line, it actually can expand. A steel yeah. brake line won't allow And then that's where you get brake fade from. So oh, if you guys ever wanted to know, that's what it that's is. the worst feeling in the world. Ah, oh, dude, it's so terrible. <laughs> when you go to try and get the, the, the brake feel that you had the previous corner, and then you just overshoot, the, oh, man, it's not, not the greatest. You know, that's why you go with the Brembo RCS-19. You like, <laughs> you like that? Upgrade. Yeah. Name drop. Brimbo RCS 19. Yeah. Yeah. Expensive upgrade. Okay. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'll put tires on it before I put that on it. <laughs> it is an expensive upgrade. Um, uh, what else? He also has the uh, three-piece belly pan. They put a belly yeah, pan on it that, that protects the oil cooler. That did look kind of weird, you know? It's, I'm not, not going to lie. The good thing is, is it is nice that it comes from the factory with, uh, you know, protecting the oil pan, obviously. Uh, oh, so or I'm, cooler. Or cooler. Sorry. Yeah. Not the oil pan. God, what am I talking about? I'm an idiot. I'm trying to figure that out too. <laughs> so oil <laughs> cooler. The good thing is, is I already know because I have the R1. The R1 does have it as well. So now it's nice to know that that one has it as well. It's just from the factory. It makes it easier. You don't have to deal with it. So yeah. you should, uh, I recommend that you do do, um, you do protect the radiator as well. I'm telling you those rocks flying up, you can have a major issue and you're just spending that. What, what is it like 70 bucks? Mm -hmm. 70 bucks to throw that on there you're you're doing yourself a favor so the last thing you want to do is pop an oil cooler oh track, nope soak not your rear tire in oil not gonna happen no <laughs> thank you um what else was kind of cool there was uh cruise, cruise control. control ah yeah. jinx jinx the cruise control with the speed limiter so if i were to get oh, that bike okay dude I i'm can, gonna set yours to like I four miles an hour to five miles an hour <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna put yours at four yeah. So that's cool because um, the cool thing is, is we do rent a bunch of bikes. If we had to get one of those, we can limit it. You know, put it at the speed limit that's in Texas, which I think is like uh, 75, 75 80. Highest, yeah. yeah. So, and that's cool. That I mean, that'd be awesome. Um, I, you know, I don't know. That, that'd be awesome to prank some people. Be like, hey, you can only go one mile an hour. Yeah, take it out for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sure. Take it out for a ride. I know you're not going to mess anything up. You know, unless they crash it at one mile an hour. God, it'd be terrible. Um, cruise control, obviously that is cool. Is that, uh, they, did they have it last year? Uh, yeah. So the empty okay, so they had a, cruise control okay, for a well, while, go, but yeah. the speed limiter on it is a new thing. That's, I mean, that's weird speed limiter. That's kind of cool though. So eh. Yamaha says it's for more of like, if you're riding a road that you're not comfortable with and you don't want to go faster than, you know, for us, it would oh, be like when 60 not, miles an hour. When you're not paying it. Oh, I mean that, that's, that's actually a really good point. Cause when you're not paying attention, and you're you look down and you're going 150, and you you've know? got a blind corner coming up that you don't know is a yeah. switchback. It can be a really bad all right. Day. I mean, I, now I can see it. Uh, you know, we're talking about all this stuff, and I still can't stop thinking about those damn air ducts on the tank and how it's gonna. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know why that's stuck in my head because when I heard that, I was like, "What the hell it's are they a trying neat to do?" Look, I will give it that much. With the MT bikes getting such a wide tank yeah. now, dude, that tank is massive. It's huge. I rode his, and I was like, "This is terrible." But you know what? It's After huge you... and it doesn't have a whole lot of fuel capacity. What is the fuel capacity? This one point one is mine, I believe. What? What is the remainder of that? What is the rest of that? Oh, that's insane. Well, I mean, all of it is up top. Uh, yeah. So I think what I is think it? Six point five on the on the new one? Six uh, five? No, I believe it's closer to four, four and a half. Yeah, but I think I read six point five liters. Liters. Yeah. I'm, anyway, I'm thinking gallons. Yeah, no, we're I in know. America. Sorry, we were in America. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but that's cool. Uh, what else? 
Golly, I don't think there's anything else. I think we went through, you know, we oh, covered the 12 volt plug in. Oh, dude. Okay. 12 volt plug in. Okay, so listen, factory. I get a lot of customers coming in here that want a 12 volt installed, and it's it's one of the things on those specific bikes MT07, MT9, MT10. It's a naked bike. It's meant for cruising. Exactly. Why would you not, have, would you not have the 12 volt charger slash plug in, whatever you want to call it? Yeah. And then we looked today. And we were like, look at this. And we were like, all right, they, they're starting to get it together at Yamaha. It's finally got Now they just got to deliver stuff on time because I'm still waiting for my back-ordered parts for the R7 that was damaged in the crate. Get it together, Yamaha. Dude, I waited like four months extra for Dude, my it's, bike. It's I put ridiculous. a down payment on that bike back in November of 19. And they said, oh, yeah, it'll be here in January. Nope. They no, there, Yamaha's there. super bad about that. But the good I thing is, is the, they did the, the labor shortage and the... The product shortage. Right? Yeah, but I think some of that. I mean, Yamaha's known for a little bit of a, a little bit yeah. of slacking. But the other thing is, I did see that they were reasonable about saying when this is going to be released over here, which it's the middle of the year next year. So yeah, 2022, what, like June is what they were saying? Yeah. May, June. So Did not even give us a month before. <laughs> <laughs> they gave us an area of yeah. how, on the map is how much it's we're... the very yeah. end of summer. Oh, yeah, I told you it's going to be in the last year. Yeah, yeah. Of next year. It's going to be 2023 before we see one. <laughs> so it's going to be crazy. But, uh, I mean, that's it. I'm, I'm happy that they brought the, uh, the Brimbo back. I'm happy about that. And then this... I'm happy they brought the SPs to the States. That's, uh, a, that that's is, a big thing. With yeah, the... that's a big thing. I, I had a couple guys call, I mean, ask about like why it wasn't available. And, the new you know, adjustable it's suspension just... is a really big thing. Dude, we didn't even mention that. The suspension, guys. The SP suspension. So I know that it's the Olin's first time with this, kind of, with this upgraded newest, suspension. Yeah, it's the newest, newest yeah. So the newest one, and this is the first road bike with that suspension on there, and they said it's supposed to be amazing. Um, Changes with your rider modes and your riding style. Yeah. So, I mean, the suspension learns how you ride. Yeah, and, and that's, I mean, it's the same as the R1. It's just the, the it's, it's upgraded to the next level of yeah. what they're thinking about for the front and the rear, which is cool. You can go in there. It's got modes. Um, it, it, what was the thing we were talking about modes is it, it adapts to the riding mode that you have, right? Yes. Yeah, so if so I'm in raid yeah. mode, it's not going to give me a super aggressive feeling. Even if I've been riding aggressive up to this point, Yeah. once I throw that bike down into mode four, which would be the rain mode, it's going to soften it up and make it feel real comfortable where I'm not worried about sliding out. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's uh, all of that's good stuff. You know, obviously you're not going to use this as a race bike, so we can't talk about like this you is say the... that. There's a lot of guys on NTs that'll take and track those bikes. I mean, track the bike. I'm not talking about racing it. You know what I'm oh. saying? But that's the thing is what you need to know is there's production level stuff that's provided, like the Brimbo master cylinder and this, this Olin suspension. And then there's stuff that is specifically made to be just a higher level quality of product. And that's like the stuff for racing and then the, the RCS-19 and yeah. track you stuff and like the forks that cost like six grand or so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. You know, those calipers, those Brimbo calipers. Mm. Get you a piece of those, those like $6,000 calipers. That Love them. Rotors that you have to replace every yeah. three tracks. Just so you guys know, I plan on winning the lottery and then I'm going to have a set of those rotors on my back. I mean, not the row. I'm going to get rotors and calipers. So to match. That's what you have to do to be able to afford something like that. Dude, those things are super expensive. <laughs> Golly. Um, but that's it. So we just wanted to talk about, um, you know, what we thought about the MT-10, share a couple things. Please hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think about it, the overall look. Um, I know we didn't really talk about that much, but it's 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 kind of like, a, a, I think, transform like it, it was Transformer. I was like, yeah, that does look like a Transformer. Now this one, I'm like, golly, that's a Transformer for sure. Oh, no, for me, it's That like dude's going to be like, rah, rah, rah. you know, what's that noise? Ah, 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 you know, it changes. Please don't ever do that no, Okay, I apologize. <laughs> but no, I think, the, I think the styling on the new one is more R1 just stripped. Like with the, the dual headlights and everything that it has now down mm, low. Yeah. That looks more R1 than it does MT. My bike looks Transformer Alien-esque. Yeah. The new MT-10 does not to me. Yeah, I mean, you know. That, yeah, I can see what you're saying. So, But definitely, let us know what you guys think. Um, let us know what you think of the new colors because we, we were interested to hear about that. And if anybody gets one, please like let us know what that the damn things on the airbox sound like. I mean, the tanks sound yes. like. 
I really want to know what what those things do and if it actually uh, you know improves the rider experience. Can you actually hear it at highway speeds? Yeah, Being I mean, naked bike, yeah, you're I mean that's, that, hit with that wind makes a lot. that makes good sense. Can you hear it at highway speeds? Uh, it's going to be super interesting. So, but that's it, man. We'll haul at you guys. Don't forget, Built Moto. Go check out his channel. He's got his MT09. He done a whole bunch of stuff to it, rims, the wrap on the tank, stuff like that. Go exhaust. check him out. And yeah, the, the 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 acro that he got from us. So yeah. And yeah, that's it. Hit us up. Enjoy the evening. Cause it, what time is it, dude? Is it super late? Uh, it's ten forty. So ten forty at night. About bedtime. Uh, <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one later. See ya. All right. Look at what we got to ride today. This beautiful MT09. Um, I've heard it's a lot of fun sort of a wheelie machine so we're going to take it for a ride and see what it's got so a couple things make sure you give built moto a follow he's the awesome customer that allows us to take his bike for a ride um, he did do the rims got those painted did the front uh, accents and then the tank and as you can see look it's it splits color so it's absolutely amazing the logo split very very good job and the full acro so I know it's going to sound do good. I know it's going to sound amazing. So let's give it a quick start so you guys can hear. So sounds amazing. Let's take it for a ride and talk about it. MT09, 